Hey guys, Quasimodo 127 here. I'm just going to do a quick overview of the latest build for AOKP for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, before we do that, let's get started. Do an overview for the latest Jelly Bean build from AOKP. Um, I'm about to get into that right now. If you can see, I have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus from Sprint. It's a pretty nice phone to do reviews on since it has a nice large screen and everything. You can see everything crystal clear. I'm about to get into this right now. If you can see, I have the default slide. Uh, I have Google Now, Camera, and Unlock. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff on my screen, but don't worry about that. It's nice and clean. You don't get this wallpaper. You get the default Jelly Bean wallpaper when you first uh, boot up your phone. And also, you have a choice between two launchers. You have the regular stock launcher and the Nova launcher. I recommend the Nova launcher because it's more uh, customization involved. It's just like the stock launcher with more options. Um, I have Nova settings right here. It's a pretty good uh, ROM. You see I have desktop, drawer, dock, look and feel. Basically, change it to how you like it. I mean, it's pretty good. You can have, have as many home screens as you like. You can tap the app and widget drawer. You can change how many icons are in one column or in one row. You can change how the scroll settings are, how fast it scrolls, the unread count, but you have to have uh, Nova Prime for that. You gotta buy that in the Play Store. Um, let's get into the true settings. If I hit settings right here, you have all your default settings, all that stuff. I'm gonna show you that I'm on the latest build. Um, I have Android 4.1.1. Um, I'm not on the same kernel as the default ROM. I have Jane Bond 3.6. I got it from XDA Developers. It's a pretty good ROM. I mean, uh, kernel. Uh, AOKP version. Uh, there you go. AOKP Total Plus. That's my phone model. JB Build 4. Just to show you that I'm not messing around. Uh, let's get into the true settings. This is why I truly like AOKP. You see right here, I have ROM control, themes, and device options. Don't worry about those. We want ROM control. This is where you can truly customize to your liking. Um, let's start with general UI. Um, it's just the general UI, of course. You can change the boot animation. You can disable the boot animation. Custom carrier label. I have Quasimodo currently right there. The default is whatever your carrier is. You can see right there, it says Quasimodo. Yep. Uh, you can choose a notification background, so if you get a notification, it'll remove the wallpaper from the menu, which is uh, nice if you want that. Notification background alpha, you can show the notification count depending on how many notifications you have. Enable the kill all button if you hit the recents button and you have apps. I don't have any other app open, I already killed them. Uh, I just have one app, you can hit kill all, suppose you have like 18 apps open at one time. Just hit kill all, which is nice. Um, show the IME switcher when you're typing something. You can switch the keyboards if you want, which is nice, but it requires a reboot. Uh, allow the 180 degree rotation. Since the headphone jacks on the bottom, suppose you don't want to put in your phone the other way where it can mess up your headphone jack. You can turn your phone upside down in your pocket. Suppose you want to switch songs, you can take your phone out your pocket just like that and unlock it and change the songs, which is nice. Uh, what else do you have here? The Force Tablet UI makes everything smaller, so it'll look like a tablet. It's pretty cool if you have a large phone, I guess, like the Galaxy Note or this phone. This phone isn't that big, but it's pretty big compared to most phones. They enable the dual panel in the settings, and I believe also in Gmail, you can have two sides of the uh, app open at one time. Like in Gmail, I guess you'll be able to sync through the the emails and read them while you're selecting through other ones at the same time which is nice. It's similar to cascading windows. Um, LCD density is basically the resolution of the screen. I have it on the default. I'm not going to mess with that. Next lock screen. This is nice. If you have a pin and you just put in the correct pin, you don't have to hit OK. It'll just unlock automatically when it senses that you have the right key. And menu unlock. This isn't for this phone. It's not for this model. There are no uh, physical menu keys. I guess it's for phones with physical menu keys. Way to lock the screen. This is based on your timeout setting. So suppose you have your phone timeout for like 30 seconds. If you turn off your phone, you gotta wait 30 seconds before it's actually locked. Choose the lock screen wallpaper, which is nice. 
Uh, let's go back to this lock screen text color. You see it's a greenish color. Lock my screen. Turn it back on. You see I have this as my color for my lock screen text. It's pretty cool. Lock screen and battery percentage. As you know, most phones when they're charging, it'll say what the battery percentage is on while it's charging. This one, it discharges and tells you what it's on already, which is nice. Stock music layout. Uh, you can use the stock layout when playing music, which is cool. I don't use it though. Volume wake. Um, I don't think it's good. These two don't go together. So you can't have volume wake and have the volume to control the music. Um, this is nice. I'll show you really quick. Basically what you do is you go to your music app. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I believe you can use anyone because I'm using WinApp. That's not the stock uh it's not the stock music player. Um you can skip to a song. It really doesn't matter. You can just turn off your phone and then suppose you have any pocket and you feel like pulling out your song I mean your uh, phone every time you just hold it. Just hit the next song. And you can go backwards. Yeah, it's pretty nice if you don't feel like pulling out your phone every second to change the songs if you have it on shuffle like I do. Uh, let's go back to the ROM settings. Uh, ROM control. Lock screen. There's more to the lock screen. Um, you can enable the weather on the lock screen, but you have to have the Google location on. I don't have it because it does a major battery drain on my phone. The calendar, it doesn't need it, but I don't have that. You can basically control the calendar. The lock screen rotation, I'll show you that. Have your phone in landscape mode. There you go. Unlock it. Oh, it's a little buggy, so uh, they might have to fix that. But, I mean, it works most of the time. I guess it wasn't working for just this time. On to the power menu. This is really nice. Should make a screenshot. I have all of them on. You see the screenshot, the navigation bar, and the volume controls. I'll just take a screenshot. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That's pretty much it. Navigation bar. This is the best. Uh, you can change the menu location. I have it at the bottom. Menu visibility. How and when do you want them to appear? I have it as default jelly bean behavior. Navigation button quantity. You can have the five. I believe on codename Android you have up to seven, which is ridiculous. Hit five, you have up to five buttons. I'm gonna bring it back down to three. I like it as the default. Um, you can change the color of them. Uh, see, they change colors. The glow, I have it as green. You can faintly see the green. It's not the best. Oh, yeah, here's another feature. You can change what you have as the target rings. Currently, I have settings, Google Now, and Chrome. Uh, you can change the different buttons. You can change the icons if you hit the icon. I'm not going to do that though. Change the action when you long press it. It can bring up a custom app. All that good stuff. Uh, you can basically change it wherever you want. So if you're coming from an older Android that has all four buttons, including the search button, you can add a search button if you want. Um, but it's kind of pointless if you have this. You can just swipe up to get the Google Now. It's basically a search. Um, the number of nav ring targets, if you see, I have three. Navigation bar ring, it'll just show you what you have currently. Uh, settings, Google Now and Chrome, like I said earlier. The button glow animation, it just shows how fast it glows when you hit it. Navigation bar height, I'll show you that really quick. and Bring it down, it gets smaller. Just have it as default. The width doesn't matter if you have three buttons. It would change if you had maybe four or five buttons but it doesn't change in this case the transparency is almost the same thing as the brightness it just gets really bright um... into the next part the battery which is kinda nice uh... battery icon style i currently have is a circle mod icon text only icon with text don't show yeah all the good stuff battery icon and notifications should be somewhere i don't see it though Um battery bar location you have it in the status bar the top of the nav bar there it is right there that bar right there just basically shows how much battery you have um the charging animation i'll show you that real quick 
It says it's based on a poor user experience, but I don't really think that. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let me just hook up a USB cable really quick. All right, I have my phone plugged in. If you can see, it only does it from one side. If you change the battery location to the middle, it'll do both sides. So, um, how do you do that? Let's go to battery bar style. If you do it center mirror, see it'll do both. I mean, it's pretty cool. You can change the bar color if you want like a greenish since, you know, it shows like the life of the battery or whatever. Make it a green. I'm going to make it green. The thickness, it gets thicker. Make it thinner. I'm going to put it back on three. All right, back to the clock. Here we go. You see my clock's in the middle. Put it in the center. No clock or right clock. I have it in the center. It looks nice. The AMPM style, a regular AMPM, which is the same size as the numbers. They are the weak as well. I say it's too much. I have a watch. Clock color. I'm going to change that to the default. So, yeah, come on. That's good. Nah. That's better. Okay, let's go back. Toggles, this is also very cool. If you saw earlier from how many toggles I have, I have like about 10 or 15 toggles. Um, enabled toggles, I have a lot enabled. Currently, I have auto rotate, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi Fi, I have a whole bunch. Um, you can change the layout. Currently, I have this layout, not this one. I like it as this one so I can actually read them. Uh, you can show just the icons or the text, that is the text. You can change the colors. The enabled works, the disabled doesn't really work. I can't get these to work. It's a little buggy on my phone. The indicator alpha, I don't know what that is really. The brightness location, I have it on the bottom. So you can see right there, I have it where I can turn up the brightness right there. Um, reset the toggles, I'm not going to do that. Signal, I really don't mess with because I really can't read the style if you change it to the signal text. I really don't know what that is. The negative 93, I can't read the signal. With the DBM, it's just worse. I can't read it. I just have it as the bar, so I just have a clue. Um, the signal color, you can change. Alternative signal layout. Uh, I don't have as high the signal bars when the strength changes. I just like to see it all the time, which is nice. The LED is cool. Uh, if you hit this up here, you can change the color. I'm going to turn it to a red. And you can change it how long it's on. I'll change it to two seconds. Seven seconds. You can change the brightness. I have it on very high. I'll put it on medium so you guys can see it. Matter of fact, low. Hit OK. You can have it while the screen's on. I don't have it currently. You can also have it while it's charging, but that needs a reboot. Test it. It says now testing LED for default. Turn off your screen. You can see it's a red color since I turned it on red. I had it on blue earlier, but it's pretty nice. Hit OK. Uh, sound. Enable the volume panel. If I hit the volume and hit this, you can basically control everything. The notification. Oh, let's go back. You have the media settings, call settings, notification settings, and the alarm, which is nice. Uh, face down audio mode. I don't use any of these really. Headphone plugged in action. I have it in as vibrate because if I'm listening to something and I don't want my ringtone to ring in my ear when I have headphones in, I just put it on vibrate since I know my phone's going to be vibrating since I have it listening to music. Bluetooth. I don't have a Bluetooth. You can just change it what to do when it gets on Bluetooth mode face down audio mode I don't have that weather you have to have on the location service which I don't have it drains my battery and you can basically change how that works the vibration you can make your own vibration it's pretty simple I'll show you that really quick just hit record stop it hit play You could save it and they rename it to whatever you want. Performance is basically having something basically like uh, set CPU. I have it set it uh, in between so I can save some battery because I was out this morning. Um, you can basically 
turn it up to 1350 on this kernel. I have the James Bond 3.6 kernel. I got it from XDA developers. Uh, the stock kernel, I believe, you can go up to 1800 megahertz. I don't like the I don't like the overclock. I really don't like the undervolt as much either. You can undervolt on this if you want. Other settings, free the memory, set at boot to whatever you had in the previous ones. Fast charge if your kernel supports it. I don't recommend fast charging because a number of people have fried their USB ports trying to fast charge over a USB. Daily reboot, I don't have that scheduled. And that's pretty much it. Um, some extra features they added. Um, in the toggles you see I have swagger. If you turn it on, you can't turn it off like you can the other ones which is kind of funny and if you hold it it'll say swagger baby which is uh, pretty funny and also if you hold the screen change the wallpapers go to wallpapers um, AOKPs comes with the own set of wallpapers called swag papers which is pretty funny they have a whole bunch of them uh, yeah you can see a lot of them have the AOKP brand with the unicorn and stuff um, a lot of them are actually pretty nice like these it has the uh, periodic table the elements that spell out AOKP uh, it's pretty cool. Um, keep calm and kang away. I have this one currently. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This one's pretty funny. It reminds me of that uh, robot unicorn game from Adult Swim. Uh, that's basically it. Um, I give this a 4 out of 5 since everything's not perfect and some of the tweaks don't work on my phone. As you've seen earlier, certain ones don't work like this lock screen rotation. It doesn't work. It's a little glitchy sometimes. Also, my phone's a little glitchy when it boots up sometimes, but I haven't had any major problems with my phone freezes and it reboots or anything. Uh, I haven't really had any bug reports on my phone. I check my bug reports folder. I really haven't had anything. I really recommend this ROM because of the customization, and it's pretty funny because I mean, this kind of reminds me of the Broncos logo. It's kind of mean looking, like a sports logo. It's actually pretty funny. And all my friends ask me, why do you have a unicorn? And I'm like, uh, it's AOKP, -OK man. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, I really recommend this ROM. It's pretty nice, pretty stable. Shout out to the guys at AOKP. You're doing a wonderful job. I'm going to try to donate some cash to you if I can. Uh, if this video helped, don't forget to like and subscribe. And go check out my other videos because they're related to just anything else that's related to Android. And that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. i got to go. So until next time.